Hey, have you noticed there's a new icon here in New Outlook? So now you can use Copilot directly in Outlook, not just in the email, but on the side, and you can ask questions. It's also available in the web. So if I go to my email box, inbox, I have the same thing. It looks different because you, you don't see it here, you see it here. So it's a little bit, you know, different. But same thing you know, with same feature features. So you can try things. Uh, basically, it applies to everything that is in your inbox. It doesn't apply to a selected email, for example. So for a selected email, you have the function embedded in the selected email. It's uh, it's applying to everything in, in Outlook. So for example, I can say uh, summarize all emails from Noah since January 2021. It's a demo environment, so <laughs> you're probably not going to do that. Um, so I don't have a lot of email coming from Noah, so it's just a demo environment with a few emails, and we've been working on this demo environment for a long time, so that's why I'm asking. And also to see how far it can go back. So. I'm not sure if he is going to understand who is Noah. So maybe I can say it a little bit differently. And as you can see, I don't have the ability. That's, that's too bad to use a slash sign. So if I type slash sign, I don't have the list of names. So I probably want to put his full name. Summarize all emails from Noah Sparks since January 2021. So he was not able to figure out, you know, what Noah he was about. Uh, he should have, because there's only one Noah, and now with the full name, he can find it. So that's what you can say. You can say, well, summarize the last email from uh, yesterday, or here, it, it's going back to, and you have the pointer to the, each email, so you can see the email are from 2022, actually. Not 21, but the, <clears throat> you can see I can here I can select and it will open the email that you found, and, um, and that's it. So it's slow, baby, because because it's a very old email. Probably it's a case, and okay, it was not even an email; it was a notification. But as you can see, you can summarize this. You're probably gonna use it the, this way: summarize emails from last week and maybe you're gonna say from someone here my all my emails are you know security emails because it's a demo tenant and so i don't have much of email but i can ask you can ask you know from last week from this person you, the person you will need to name fully the first and last name or Maybe it works with the email address. I'm not sure, but here you can see it also summarize the the thing from the last week. The, so you can navigate all through all your mailbox and and figure out you know uh, what was important, uh, what uh, important email did I receive in the last two weeks so you can focus your prompt to find more specific emails based on who sent them the topic you know tell me all the emails about the topic about project about a person about a, a product name whatever it's it is uh, So the year here, it's because, you know, I just have technical emails and I don't have any important emails. So that's normal. It doesn't come back, but I can, I can say, um, what emails did I receive about Copilot from 
since January. Again, <coughs> I put a far back date because then another lot of emails in my environment. And everything you can do here, you can do it in the new Outlook client. We have the same feature here. So the web or the Outlook, new Outlook. I don't think it's available in the old Outlook, but I don't use the old Outlook anymore. So here's some email mentioning Copilot. I even have voicemail, which is interesting. Um, a Power BI. Okay, so it's a it's able to filter. What else do you have? So you have uh, tell me more about the topics. It's gonna be the exact same thing. It's uh, tell me more about. So we're gonna do that. Tell me more about Copilot. So here it's more general. Is it gonna look uh, in my email or I'm not sure what it's gonna do? And so let's see if it goes. So it is. It goes into the documents, email, chat. So apparently it looks everywhere, which is very surprising. So here I can see if I click here, I even have an internet link. I'm not sure why. So it seems that the grounding is going outside. That's surprising. And here, uh, that's, what is this? The second one is, let's click on it. It's a loop component. So not sure how the grounding is working because there's way more than these two links. So maybe my problem should be more specific. Uh, so let's try something more specific. Tell me more about Copilot Code of Conduct. So this is, this is very specific. I'm not sure if there's anything on the internet, so I'm not sure you can find something on the internet. But I might have a document somewhere in the tenant about Copilot Code of Conduct. I don't remember if I stored it here. Okay, so it tells me, hey, there's a document in your in your environment, so the grounding is not just email, it's also chat and documents. So it, it, it's it's a new thing here. It's uh, the first time in, in an app that the grounding is, doesn't apply just to the app, but outside of the app. So it's pretty interesting. Um, what else can we do? And I think that was the last one. Uh, find find something find the file okay so you see find the find find the file that means it's not just looking in email find the file that um, Tim shared within the last five weeks So it's a little bit like the Copilot chat. Uh, I guess the priority is to look in emails and then after to look somewhere else. Depending on the prompt you're using, it's not clear, but it's it's a little bit like the Copilot chat having you, the Copilot chat on the side while you're in email. You're focusing on email, so probably you're going to mention that you're looking for email, but you can extend it to anything outside apparently. And Okay, so 
I don't know how many. Okay, it, so it can find a lot of references. There's a lot of references here. But I think this is pretty same thing than doing this. So if I was doing this, I'm going into Copilot chat. My guess is that this prompt is the same. It should bring the same result. So let's see here. There's auto courage part and some documents. Okay. It's four references here. So let's see Copilot here. So yes, yeah, so you, you can see that's the exact same document. Oh, apparently, yeah, same document. It gave same document. Uh, but here, for whatever reason, I cannot have the link to the document. I just have one document, which is very surprising where in Outlook, where was I? In Outlook, That's the outlook I'm looking for. I have links here. So I have more content here than in the chat. Very surprising, not consistent, but you know, it's Copilot is evolving all the time. So just the thing to know is that you have Copilot in Outlook, in the new Outlook and in Outlook for the web. The one thing I wanted to try is, uh, the, can it do something on my calendar? So if I want to plan something, there's no still no nothing to plan a meeting um, so i don't have any automation here let's see here no, no automation with copilot so that's too bad can it tell me let's say what is my next availability next Monday uh, so I'm gonna change a little bit uh, maybe next Monday I'm gonna put something here uh, we'll call it demo my next ability next Monday for a one hour meeting so let's see you're in outlook so probably that's the kind of question you want to ask when you're in outlook what is my next ability next monday for one hour meeting so let's see what comes out of it so normally it should be here or here Maybe I just, since I just enter it, it can give this answer too, because there's always a lag on how he indexes um, the content. For one hour meeting Monday, you may want to check your calendar. That's nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not, <laughs> yeah. So let's try for today. What is my, uh, maybe sh sh find a slot for a meeting next Monday. Maybe it's my prompt that he doesn't like. I know I can look in my calendar. That's nice to say. Okay, so apparently the prompt is very important. Find a slot. Works better. As you can see, it's not really consistent in the way it's working. So I really encourage everybody to try some prompt and see what works well. And here, as you can see, it tells me all all my 
book time and just at the end it's telling me okay you can meet oops from 11 to 12 and 2 to 3 so 2 to 3 is wrong because I added probably it's wrong because I just added it so it's not indexed but before it was right it didn't find the early morning meeting not sure why could have maybe he's nice with me he doesn't want me to get up too early but as you can see copilot doesn't help much with calendar uh, planning so it's a nice feature you have now copilot in outlook you can mainly search for email um, i've seen that you can also you can also search for um, who is reporting to Pierre Eve. But again, you'll see who is reporting to Pierre Eve. Not sure if it's really related to Outlook here because here I can go there and see the org chart. And I can see you know, I have nine people reporting, um, nine reports, nine directs. And here, what does it say? Give me Noah. Okay, Noah is here. Josh. Josh is here. Michael. Three. Well, okay, it does a pretty decent job. So apparently it looks, I don't know if it, because that, what's interesting here is I have a link here and the, the link goes to, let's see. Yeah, it goes to the search. Basically, you use the search to find the people who are reporting. And here it says report to go. So I'm guessing that's how I did it. I'm not sure if it used the, the Outlook to feature, or chat feature to do it, but that's another thing you can do that just discovered. So you can f look for files. You can look for um, you can look for emails. Obviously, finding a slot uh, doesn't seem to be perfect yet. And obviously, you can ask any question. Uh, so, but I, mainly, I think people are gonna use it to you know figure out you know what they receive, what are the important emails they missed, and and query anything in their email directly from here instead of doing in the Copilot chat. Hope this was insightful.